We welcome you inside Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York for the second week of eight weeks in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Last week here in Manhattan, we saw the kickoff to this wonderful 16-man elimination bracket as Johnny Gargano took on Akira Tozawa. And man, oh man, was this a physical matchup from pillar to post. Akira Tozawa bringing his best performance in years inside the squared circle. And Johnny Gargano just slipping away with the victory in the end to defeat Akira Tozawa and advance to the quarterfinals. We found out later in the night who will meet Johnny Gargano in the quarterfinals in a few weeks' time as Dominic and Rey Mysterio met in the father-son collision. Emotional battle this was between Rey and Dominic. And in the end, Dominic Mysterio stepping out of the shadows of his father, a 619 like poetry in motion, followed by a frog splash, and Dominic picking up the biggest victory of his young career. But tonight, the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues we know dominic and johnny gargano will meet in the quarterfinals in a few weeks but we find out tonight the next portion angel garza mustafa ali nathan frazier and wesley set to battle right here tonight in hammerstein ballroom as we mentioned coming up in your main event nxt's nathan frazier the biggest matchup of his young career set to battle young and hungry wesley i got a feeling this is going to be a great matchup inside the squared circle and kicking us off in moments, Mustafa Ali, one of the stars of Friday Night SmackDown, set to battle with Los Lotharios, Angel Garza. A very interesting collision as Angel Garza owns a victory over Mustafa Ali, dating back to April on SmackDown. But tonight they meet in the CWC. Let's take a look at both competitors. Los Lotharios, Angel Garza coming to this matchup. 5'11", 205 pounds fighting out of Mexico tonight. And of course, Angel, a one-time WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Tonight could be the opportunity that sends Garza to a second chance at the gold. And as for Mustafa Ali, walking into Hammerstein Ballroom tonight, standing 5'10", 182 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, USA. And of course, dating back to last December, Ali with a short but eventful reign as the United States Champion. But who is going to punch their ticket to the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic? We kick things off here in Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York, with week two of eight in this oh-so-awesome tournament. And here comes competitor number one, representing Friday Night SmackDown. Mustafa Ali, tag team member with Ricochet over the last few months, but tonight steps into a singles opportunity here in NYC. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali! Speaking on that tag team with Ricochet, Ali and Ricochet really took the division by storm in 2023, winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic as well as the WWE World Tag Team Championship back in WrestleMania weekend in February. Ever since they lost the gold back in June, though, it's been a little bit of a rocky road for both men individually. Ali, we saw him in a Money in the Bank qualifying match dating back to June, unfortunately slipped through the fingers of Ali. He's been chomping at the bit for another opportunity. Tonight, he finds himself back where it all began in the Cruiserweight Classic, and I'm sure Ali would love to not only win this oh-so-prestigious tournament, but to earn a future opportunity at the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World. But so would this man who, as we mentioned, is a former one-time Cruiserweight Champion and one half of Los Lotharios, Angel Gornza, owes a recent victory over Ali a few months ago on the blue brand. How will that play into the strategies of both men as they meet in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic? And his opponent, representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds. Angel! And here, not only did Angel Garza pick up a victory over Mustafa Ali a couple of months ago on SmackDown, but it was a extremely physical match. Could have went either way, but in the end, Garza just had the number of Mustafa Ali. And you remember what that led to? Los Lotharios battled Ali and Ricochet just a few weeks later on Friday Night SmackDown for the World Tag Team titles. Obviously, Los Lotharios coming up short. But Angel Garza, I'm sure, has kept that victory inside of his mind heading into this tournament. He knows what it takes to beat Mustafa Ali. 
And as for Ali on the flip side of the coin, he knows he has lost to Angel Garza the last time they went one-on-one. -on -one. Gotta wonder if that'll play into the psyche of Ali tonight. Will it play into the strategy of either men as we kick off week two here in Manhattan, New York, Cruiserweight Classic first round battle between the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown and Mustafa Ali and a one half of Los Lotharios, Angel Garza. Of course, the other half of Los Lotharios and Humberto Carrillo will battle Ali's recent tag team partner in Ricochet coming up soon here in the Cruiserweight Classic as well. But tonight, the opposing members of those teams meet as Angel Garza hot out of the gate, taking Ali down and the springboard missile drop kick on Mustafa. Angel Garza coming out hot. And I bet, as we mentioned, that victory a few months back is really dating into that strategy tonight. Angel trying to not only play into the mindset of Ali, but trying to catch him off guard in the early going. Angel Garza's got all the tools to be a champion. He's done it before. He can do it again. Angel. There's a nice reversal by Humberto, or excuse me, by Mustafa Ali. Humberto Carrillo, as we mentioned, will be in action coming up soon here in the Cruiserweight Classic against the one and only Ricochet in the first round. Angel so far is all over the opponent tonight. Ali yet to get an offensive maneuver in on his opposer. And of course, still to come tonight here in the Hammerstein Ballroom, Nathan Frazier from NXT, former Heritage Cup winner, challenges a former NXT Tag Team Champion in Wesley. Should be an amazing matchup, certainly. One of the biggest matches of both men's careers later tonight as Angel goes for the early victory over Ali, and Ali having none of it. Whether he kicked out or not, so far, Angel Garza all over Mustafa. Springboard and another drop kick. Ali is rocked right now. Angel Garza is looking to pick the bones of Mustafa Ali, who may be crumbling under the moment before our very eyes. Ali's got to get back into this thing. There you go. Grabbing a hold of Angel, trying to slow him down and brings him down to the canvas with the neck breaker followed by the elbow. Very interesting, the words I just started trying to slow down Angel Garza, and really one of the strong suits of both of these men is the fast pace, high offense that we are seeing right there by Ali, swinging neck breaker, only a one count. And you gotta believe Ali knew he wasn't gonna get the victory there so early in this matchup. They're just trying to gain the momentum back and maybe get into the psyche of Angel that this isn't gonna be such an easy victory tonight. Over the top rope of the crossbody and down to the floor of Manhattan, New York. Ali sends an Angel back inside the squared circle looking to pick the bones of one half of Los Lotharios here. As Ali, beautiful tornado DDT. One of Ali's best maneuvers in the playbook but it's not enough to keep Angel down. You gotta believe damage, certainly done, however. Angel Garza was all over Ali after the opening bell, but Ali starting to flip the script. Angel Garza not looking to go down without a fight tonight, looking to play in to the psyche of Ali. He knows Ali has been thinking about that loss all those months ago, leading into this rematch here tonight in the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic, and stakes higher than ever. First round, single elimination tournament. Win, you move on, lose, you go home. And so much on the line. Again, not only is the Cruiserweight Classic at stake, but as Ali eats the knees, both of these men gotta be thinking about a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. And Garza over the top rope. Pedal to the metal since the opening bell. This is what the Cruiserweight Classic is all about. I think both of these men had a can of that C4 before they came out here. Now Ali trying to avoid whatever Angel had in mind, whether he meant to or not, Angel Garza eats the ring post. Now it's Ali on the tail of his opposer and a crossbody from the heavens. And Mustafa Ali now once again flipping the script on the other half of Los Lotharios. Awesome opening matchup so far. Remember, the winner of this match will meet the winner of tonight's main event between Wesley and Nathan Frazier in the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Dominic Mysterio, Johnny Gargano, the other quarterfinal matchup that has been signed thus far. And still two more weeks of first round battles to come here in Hammerstein. Yeah. One of the most wrestling, fa fa most famous venues, I should say, in wrestling history. And Ali is looking at Mace Hicks during tonight in the midst of this incredible building, but not able to defeat Garza just yet. Nice counter, however. Looked like Angel Garza might have been going for a powerbomb there. 
to no avail, but the German suplex works out in his favor. And Ali ate the canvas hard, and Angel trying to keep on the offense, and down goes Ali. Mustafa Ali has shown signs of life in this match, but I gotta say, Angel Garza looks to be the favorite. I think it's had the offense for the majority of this match. And that V-triggered knee might have just knocked Ali out. He might be seeing stars. And you notice Angel Garza not letting up for a moment in this matchup. He has been all over Mustafa since the opening bell. Any window of opportunity, he has taken it. And you got to give it up to Angel Garza for looking to seize this opportunity tonight. Going for the basement drop kick, a signature in the arsenal of Garza, and he lands it flush. That's gonna do it. Garza's moving on, not just yet as Mustafa Ali survives. Close call there by Ali. And now on the ropes, but there's a reversal. Angel Garza eats the knee, and Ali gonna make him pay for it. Face first off the canvas. What a reversal. What a series of maneuvers, but it's not enough to keep Angel Garza down for the three. Incredible counter by Mustafa. Threw the ropes down to the floor, but Angel Garza able to survive. Business pick it up in your opening matchup tonight in Manhattan, New York, as Angel scares, or I should say Ali scales the ropes. And gonna bring Angel down with him off the Frankensteiner. To the outside, but if we want know one thing about the Cruiserweight Classic is the outside is no safe place to be as Mustafa Ali up and over the top rope, but he may have hurt his tailbone on the landing. Whether he hurt himself or not, took Angel Garza out. That's why they call it high risk, high reward. Might injure yourself in the process, but nonetheless, Angel Garza back on his feet, Ali on his tail, but Angel Garza trying to avoid it. Now these men playing a game of cat and mouse. The speed of the cruiserweights as Ali gets the best of them. Big time drop kick there. Garza just trying to get his whereabouts right now. Ali turned the script on him a few minutes ago off that counter. That X factor inside the squared circle. And although he's surviving, Angel certainly not thriving. Sit out power bomb. There's the two, not a three as Garza survives again. Angel, that tank must be running on A. Able to get the shoulder up to how much is left in this half of Los Lotharios. Especially when it, Angel Garza came out hot so early in this matchup. He may have outdid himself. Angel Garza down and out. Ali with the splash into the cover. And is getting the kick out. But fatigue is setting in for Angel. Ali not able to put the opposer away yet. The matchup rolls on. And finally a reversal there out of Angel Garza. Kick to the gut. And there's another maneuver to crush the tailbone of Ali that he may have injured a few minutes ago. And these notice the submission hold in. Angel could have easily let up. The maneuver was done. But Angel elects for the submission. And if Ali gives up, Garza's got a first class ticket to the quarterfinals. But Ali not going down without a Pier 6 brawl tonight. Ali goes behind, takes out Angel Garza again. Man, what is it going to take? At some point, again, fatigue starts to set in. The tank's got to be running on E. It's such a physical, high pace, high reward matchup. But neither man looking to see this opportunity slip through their grasp tonight. Angel down, Ali. Could be going for an O, a five and a four, but Garza rolls out of the way. Nobody home off the 0-5-4, and Mustafa Ali, with such a critical maneuver, misses, and Angel Garza now looking to take full advantage. Already such a difficult maneuver to land, a difficult maneuver to pull off, and for it not to work out for Mustafa Ali may be his biggest detriment in this matchup as Garza from the top, but not able to hit the maneuver he was searching for. And now Ali, off the reversal. Nice Frank insider and take Garza off his feet. Goes for the senton, nobody home. Back and forth the pendulum momentum swings in this match. Moonsault, nobody home. Angel now. Fighting an uphill battle. Ali springboard goes for the tornado DDT again, but there's nobody home. Angel Gorza starting to unload. Mustafa Ali taking a couple of blows. 
inside out, face first on the canvas. Angel Garza might have just caught the opponent here tonight. And that he did. What a victory. Well, dare I say it may be an upset. Angel Garza, we talked about it to the fullest tonight, has defeated Mustafa Ali before, but under these bright lights, I don't think anybody Here's saw it coming. Nonetheless, Mustafa Ali getting the boot in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic. And Los Lothario's Angel Garza picking up a monumental victory in his career. One step closer to becoming a two-time Cruiserweight Champion. Cannot believe that. Now going two for two over Ali over these last few months. But tonight, a victory that will sit with Garza for the long, long time. The next time we come your way for not one, but two live premiere events is 27 nights from tonight as we kick off a huge September doubleheader weekend. First, on Saturday, September 16th, we bring to you a Friday Night Smackdown exclusive event, No Mercy, live from the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. And then just 24 hours later, the Monday Night Raw crew headlined the exclusive Unforgiven event taking place on September 17th from the All State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. It's a September doubleheader, a live premiere weekend featuring the Cruiserweight Classic, SmackDown's No Mercy in Baltimore, and Raw's Unforgiven in Chicago. Coming up this Monday night on Raw in the Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins set to lock horns with one third of the New Day in Kofi Kingston. And also coming up Monday night on Raw with a bruising battle. This is going to be as the street champ Solo Sokoa, hot off a victory over Tommaso Ciampa, set to take on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Two huge matches signed for Raw this Monday in LA. And what about Friday night on SmackDown? We are heading to Hartford, Connecticut, and for the first time since his loss at SummerSlam, the ring general Gunther back in action before Johnny Gargano participates in the Cruiserweight Classic quarterfinals. He meets the ring general in a rematch from a few weeks back on SmackDown. And we will also determine the number one contender for Drew McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship at no mercy, the phenomenal AJ Styles, the Viper Randy Orton, who's going to punch the golden ticket and meet the Scottish Warrior on the 16th of September. And coming up next Saturday afternoon, the Cruiserweight Classic first round continues. Monday Night Raw's Tyler Bate, Friday Night SmackDown's Drew Gulak. This should be a very interesting submission and grappling battle inside the squared circle next Saturday afternoon. Also coming up in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic, the other half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo takes on the one and only human highlight real ricochet both of those first round matches coming your way next saturday afternoon at 3 p.m eastern but coming up next here in manhattan new york the first round continues as nxt's nathan frazier battles smackdown's wesley this should be a very high stakes high reward and high flying matchup between these two young competitors now let's take a closer look and Nathan Frazier, who enters the biggest match of his career in moments, coming into this thing 5'10", 182 pounds, fighting out of the United Kingdom. And as we mentioned earlier tonight, a former NXT Heritage Cup winner. And what about the opponent? Wesley, representing Friday Night SmackDown, 5'9", 190 pounds, fighting out of Dayton, Ohio, in the United States, and a one-time NXT Tag Team Champion. It's Wesley, Nathan Frazier. First round coming up next in New York City. It is main event time here in the Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York, as the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic continues and quite possibly the biggest match of this young man's career. The former Heritage Cup winner, Nathan Frazier is live and in living color in New York City for the Cruiserweight Classic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. From the United Kingdom all the way to New York City, Nathan Frazier has been fighting an uphill underdog battle his whole career. But a man who is trained by none other than the current WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins, looking to showcase his talents in the middle of the Mecca tonight. Phenomenal theme music as well. Nonetheless, Nathan Frazier is live here in Hammerstein, but a big time opponent ahead. A man who has fought in and out of NXT, now a part of Friday Night SmackDown over the last year. Former NXT Tag Team Champion, the young, hungry, and exciting Wesley. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley. You know, we're going to talk about Nathan Frazier, United Kingdom, all the way to USA. Wesley is also hold championship gold all throughout the world. You're looking at a man who has held championships all over the independence from Pro Wrestling Gorilla, former Super X Cup champion in Impact Wrestling, and of course, as we mentioned, a former NXT Tag Team Champion. But no doubt, Wesley and Nathan Fraser find themselves under the spotlight tonight in a matchup that quite possibly could steal the whole first round and possibly steal this entire 16-man tournament. But here we go, first round matchup in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, NXT's Nathan Frazier, Friday Night SmackDown's Wes Lee, who is going to meet Angel Garza in the quarterfinals in a couple of weeks' time. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Nathan Frazier looking to come out hot here, taking a page out of Angel Garza's book, who was all over Mustafa Lee in the early going of the previous matchup and clearly worked out to his advantage. Let's see who's got the more endurance between Frazier and Wesley tonight. Who's going to go the distance? Outlast the other. Who's going to throw caution in the wind for the will to succeed tonight? Right now, Nathan Frazier all over Wesley. Frazier realizes that his journey has led him to the biggest match of his career tonight. An opportunity to take things to the next step here in the WWE, possibly solidify himself. A permanent spot on either Raw or SmackDown could start here tonight. And so far, so good as he has got Wesley down and out. But does he have him out for good is the question. We have seen Wesley have some championship opportunities of his own over the last year since debuting a part of the main roster. A couple of opportunities to become Cruiserweight Champion, even fought Gunther for the United States title a few months back. Unfortunately, none of those opportunities going Wesley's way, but will tonight be a different story? Right now, Lee on the outside. Nathan Frazier over the top rope. Phenomenal maneuver. You see how he cradled himself up midair and came out of the top like a cannonball to explode Wesley at wing side. And a shooting star press for good measures. Nathan Frazier leaving it all on the table tonight. Wesley has got no answer. Ever since that opening bell, Frazier has been the aggressor. And there's a discus. Forearm to the back of the neck. Very similar to Nathan Frazier's former mentor, Seth freaking Rollins, the current WWE champion. Certainly a, certainly a man to learn all your tricks from. And Frazier off the top, dropping the elbow. And finally goes for the cover. And I gotta believe Nathan Frazier might have Wesley here in the early moments, but Lee gets the shoulder off. Wesley has not gotten one offensive maneuver in. This is very much a parallel of the matchup we just saw between Angel Garza and Mustafa Lee. But will Wesley be able to turn the tides and get back into this matchup and possibly outlast the onslaught of Frazier? It really comes down to who wants it more, who's got the endurance, who is going to punch their ticket to the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic. Finally, a counter by Lee. And in Seguri, making a dose. And Frazier goes down. And what a maneuver by Lee. Wes Lee trying to get things going. As we mentioned, world traveled superstar inside of that ring. And still very young in his career. But he's won tournaments in the past. He's won championships all around the globe. But looking to do the same here in WWE. And it could start here tonight for Wes Lee. Nathan Fraser on spaghetti legs. Lee was looking for that possibly overhead kick. 
Fraser avoided it, goes for a moonsault, but now Wesley gets out of the way. And what a forearm! A little bit of oomph behind it as well. Coming for the shot and a pump kick. And Lee might have just punched his ticket to the next round, but only a one count. And everybody in this tournament over the last few two weeks so far, giving everything they got, leaving their heart and soul inside the squared circle. As we talked about earlier tonight, it is single elimination. Win, move on, lose, you go home. And nobody wants to be on their way out of Manhattan, New York. Nathan Fraser, that was a beautiful missile drop kick off the springboard, heads to the top. West Lee catches him, however. Great strength by Lee. And now hanging Fraser up on the top silver rope. Nice counter by Lee there, able to avoid disaster. A beautiful maneuver. West Lee so unique inside of that ring. Lee has one of those arsenals that's so unpredictable. But that Tope Suicida, Nathan Frazier, could have saw coming from a mile away, but not fast enough to avoid it. Wesley shot like a rocket out of that ring, and now up on the apron. And a Meteora takes down Frazier. Wesley is throwing a little bit of everything, a little spice here and there in this matchup to throw Frazier off his game and ultimately, hopefully, get the victory. Frazier's down, but Wesley not going for the pinfall just yet. He recognizes the heart of this young kid, and he's looking for the victory in any way means necessary tonight. Off the ropes. Tilt to whirl, head scissors, down goes the opposer. And now into the cover. And the two, but Nathan Frazier kicks out. Game recognizes game, and Wesley realizes what he's in the ring with right now. Someone just as young and just as hungry as he is, but who is going to be the one to grab the brass ring? Beautiful regal plex by Wesley, but not enough to keep Fraser down. And now a reversal by Nathan Fraser. Can he get back into this match? Shooting Lee into the ropes, and just taking Wesley out. Nice takedown there, into the cover. And only another kick out. And this match has been pedaled to the metal since the opening bell, as we would expect nothing less. Wesley on the outside, and Nathan Frazier, his wheels are spinning again, could be looking to go back to the well with what has worked so far in this matchup, and that's taking things high in the sky. And as this matchup continues, remember next week, Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time, week three of the Cruiserweight Classic. Monday Night Raw's Tyler Bate will battle Friday Night SmackDown's Drew Gulak. And then the other matchup, one half of Los Lothario's Humberto Carrillo set to take on the human highlight reel, Ricochet. Both those matches coming your way next Saturday afternoon in the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. We'll see who moves on to the quarterfinals next week, but who is going to move on tonight between Lee and Frazier as Lee once again avoids a high-risk, possibly dangerous maneuver out of Frazier's arsenal. Now look at this beautiful offense by Wesley. The strikes, the lefts, the rights, the knee. He's got to take advantage, but there's Nathan Frazier. Nice drop kick there on Lee. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Frazier stuck between a rock and the hard place in the corner and just went to the well with that drop kick and it worked for him. But now heading to the top rope, Lee is down. Could be looking for that picture perfect Phoenix splash by Nathan Frazier into the cover. And he got him! Nathan Frazier picking up the biggest win of his young career without a shadow of it out. And we now know the next matchup in the quarterfinals, Nathan Frazier will meet one half of Los Lothorios, Angel Gorza, in a number of weeks here in Hammerstein. Here's your winner, Nathan Frazier. An awesome matchup here tonight in Manhattan, New York, but only one man can punch their ticket to the next round, and that man will be the young Nathan Frazier. It'll be a battle between the United Kingdom and Mexico coming up in a few weeks here in New York City. Awesome matchups here tonight. A part of the Cruiserweight Classic, Nathan Frazier picking up a huge win, but remember, coming your way next week, Drew Gulak versus Tyler Bate, plus Humberto Carrillo takes on the human highlight reel ricochet. Both first round matches coming your way at 3 p.m. Eastern time next Saturday afternoon.
Another great week in the books of the Cruiserweight Classic. Thank you for joining us from Manhattan, New York, and we will see you next week live from Hammerstein Ballroom. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.